Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Pineapple and today I'm doing a Dark Fairies Glade speed build. So if you like this build, you can download it off of the gallery. My origin ID is PineappleYT. Um, so this build took me about three hours to do, so not that long um, for me, I mean, <laughs> um, and it was a hundred thousand simoleons. Um, so it's pretty expensive, but um, it is a fantasy build, build. I think I just said filled, but I meant to say build, um, and so I kind of don't really care about the cost as much just because, I don't know, I feel like if you're playing this one you aren't as into it being realistic. Um, but yeah, I was inspired to do this because I wondered if I could turn those arched sections into an actual like structure that the Sims could live in. Um, it actually kind of reminds me of... I, I was a Girl Scout camp counselor, and the camp I went to, I went to a lot when I was a kid myself, and um, we would do this thing called fairy houses, and so we would build houses out of sticks and leaves and stuff, and we would kind of try and build it into the trees, and some of them look really cool, and so that's kind of what this reminds me of, um, is kind of taking something um, sort of rustic -y or foresty and then actually turning it into like a home for a fairy um and so since we actually have fairy costumes um that's really exciting so i you could actually play with this um yeah i hope <laughs> and so i tested everything in the slot and it all works which i was really excited for like the sims can totally just walk right up there and go sleep in the bed and you know chill by the fire and whatever and this has all of the commodities of um a regular home um so your sim can totally live here no problem um so at about mm, a little bit after this point but at some point i realized that my sort of shape was off by one square it wasn't symmetrical and it was so furiating because i couldn't quite tell why one piece was slightly in front of the other and like i would like measure it and it would match up but then i measure in a different place and it wouldn't and i just like i think i cut most of that out because i was like going insane and like a little bit later when i found out i was just like oh that's why it wasn't working um <laughs> I was really glad I figured it out because I was starting to go a little bit insane, um, more so than usual. But yeah, um, this is technically a two bedroom home. Um, I figured it, there could be like a guest room or potentially it's a kid's room. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, <laughs> right now I am just trying to get the layout down for this place, which like I said, when I had that one square off that was really driving me crazy, so that was kind of hard. But yeah, you know, I'm just kind of trying to figure out how I wanted this. And with this bedroom over here, um, this is going to be where one of the bedrooms is, and then next to it is the bathroom. I was trying to create privacy without walls, and so that was really hard, and I really waffled back and forth as to what I wanted. Um, and so I ended up just kind of going with, like, flowers and whatnot. And so I don't know how, if Sims will be embarrassed if they're just kind of peeing out in the open and somebody walks by. Um because I didn't really test that specific aspect, but hopefully they're not. Um, <laughs> maybe you'll just have to only have Sims you're comfortable with on your lot, otherwise you'll get embarrassed. Um, but yeah, I really liked um, adding those extra pieces to make those areas a bit more enclosed, but bigger at the same time, more of a defined space. I thought that was really cool. Um, and so yeah, right now it's looking really bright. And so that's because, like I said, I was doing the layout and I wasn't really concerned with colors at the time. Um, and I wasn't really sure what direction I wanted to even go in with colors. Um, and so as I was kind of going through the different colors off camera, because um, otherwise this would take two years and a half, um, I decided on a sort of dark purple and greens, but also some accents of white to kind of make it to add in some contrast um and so i really i really love how that turned out so that's where the whole dark fairy sort of blend thing came from because i it's not like quite as light and pretty as like all fairy things um but yeah um so oh my god i just ran out of things to say and my brain just died <laughs> but um I need to stop talking so fast because I have all these things to say, but then I say them in the first two seconds. Um, but yeah, this kitchen was a bit hard to do, and I'm still not completely pleased with it. Um, but it's not really the focus of the build, so I'm not too worried about it. But um, 
Another thing that inspired this build was that archway over the bed was something I thought of doing. And I actually made a completely different bedroom, just a bedroom. Um, that's an outdoor bedroom similar to this, but different in a way. Um, and so I'll also be uploading that to the gallery if you're interested, but I didn't want to do a speed build of that one because I thought this one was a lot more interesting. Um, and the other one was just a room and sometimes I find it really hard to record an intro for the rooms because it's just like, where do I even, it's just a room. <laughs> But I do it, I do it, and I like doing it sometimes, but this time I was just kind of tired, and so I was like, I'll just do this. Um, but yeah, I really love this build. Um, it kind of put me in the sort of Halloween mood in a way, just that sort of fantasy and dark vibe. Um, and so I am working on a haunted house for you guys, um, and so I'm really, really excited to get that up. Um, I will also be um, uploading to sort of family style homes, um, older homes, so they're not modern. And so one is more expensive um, than the other, and so I'm really like also excited to get that to you guys. Um, yeah, I like, um, I, if you don't know already, I've added another Let's Play to my channel called The Failure of Frankfurter, and it's sort of a horror comedy Let's Play, and it's a lot of fun, and so I will be sort of doing that from now until the end of October, and so that means that I'm only really going to be getting, like, be able to get up one speed build a week, just because I'll be putting one speed build, and I'll be putting up two Let's Plays, and so I feel like every once in a while I might be able to throw in a bonus video, like I definitely have a bonus video coming for you guys this week, and I'm really excited about it, um, but like with the bonus video, that means I'm producing four videos a week, which is crazy for me <laughs> to think about, um, especially because right now I am still in school, and um, I'm, I'm coming to the finish line, guys. Like, I'm taking, I already have my undergraduate degree, but I had to go back and get a, do a specific course for um, the grad school I want to go to. So I'm doing that right now, but I'm almost done with that course, and I'm so excited. But then I have to start looking for jobs, and I'm a little bit less excited for that, only because I'm worried I won't be able to get a job. <laughs> but yeah, so I moved this, um, after, before I changed the coloring, I moved it to a smaller lot, just because I thought it fit better that way and I kind of like the cluttered sort of landscaping look better than the spread out um, and I find I'm not actually that good at landscaping um, but yeah um, <laughs> once I got that new coloring in and I started doing the landscaping um, and I like recolored all of most of the furniture that was already there is when I really started getting into the sort of dark fairy mood and so um, that's when I started realizing that I actually like this lot a lot better when it's dark um, and so <laughs> I um, I didn't do the rest of the build in the dark because you guys wouldn't have been able to see so once I got the lighting in I switched back but I you know I did all of the like pictures and screenshots and little like panoramic shot clips um, while it was dark because I just really liked that. Um, but see there, I'm still still fiddling with how I want that divide to be. Um, I was just, I was having difficulties, but I was really excited to use that lantern, um, those lantern sets, because I've never really used them before. Um, and I also used a whole bunch of candles and lanterns and I purposefully put candles um, in the fireplace because I love how that looks. Um, I mean, I just do. <laughs> um, a lot of people do that because they can't actually put a fire in their fireplace, so they'll light candles instead, um, which I think is a really cool thing to do. Um, I would definitely love to do that if I had a fireplace. Back um, at my parents' house, they have a wood-burning stove, which is different because it has like an actual door that you shut on it, so you could put a candle in there, but it would look ridiculous. <laughs> it would it would be bizarre. Um, but yeah, I actually, once the power went out, um, and this was around Thanksgiving, and so my mom was in the middle of making, like, her, like, potato rolls, and so she, um, had some, she had all the dough ready, and she was ready to cook it, but she, um, didn't have power so she couldn't use the oven yet so we tried to test to see if we could cook it on the wood burning stove no you can't um <laughs> it was the weirdest like it came out with the weirdest looking texture but I digress um but yeah I 
ended up like putting a lot of I sized up a lot of flowers because I was trying to go with that fantasy vibe and I used all of these columns um, and I just loved it um, the only thing with this build is because there weren't any walls it was really hard to decorate you know to kind of put it all together so that's why I tried to go a bit plant crazy because that's like all I could do and like if you look in the living or the dining room um, I had like I added in those sort of flower like things like it's not like a fence because it's not a fence but it looks like a fence um so I put those in because I couldn't do anything else um but here I this is one of my favorite parts of this build um the way I put those um statues in I feel like it looks like they're dancing and so I feel like they look like they're dark fairies dancing around something, you know, doing whatever dark ritual that they're doing. Um, and I thought that was really cool. And I end up using um, some flowers from the get to work alien sort of thing. And so it looks like the um, fountain has flowers floating in it. And so I thought that was really cute. Um, but here is what I was saying with the walls. I was like trying really hard because I was worried that if I use move objects to put to lift something up it would fall back down so I ended up going with those paintings um because they're really tall and so I knew that they would stay in place um and so I was really glad about this but I just love this living room I think this is the cutest thing ever like I love it I love it um <laughs> but yeah um I also had a little bit of trouble with the lighting of this place just because uh there were no ceilings um and so Oh my goodness, that got a bit annoying too. Oh, but here are those flowers that I was talking about. I love them so much. Um, but yeah, so some of the um, the lanterns that are in the main building, you can actually only see those if you're technically on the third floor. Because um, otherwise, in the different views, they kind of disappear, which is kind of annoying and weird to me. But I guess it makes sense. Um, but here is another thing I really love about this build. Um, I wasn't quite sure what to do with this empty space, which by the way, this thing kind of looks like a baseball field, just saying, um, if you look at it from above, which is a little awkward, but I wasn't sure what to do, and so I kind of had an idea to make the whole middle area into a flower. So from up above, it kind of looks like a flower, I don't know, you might have to squint a bit to see it, um, but I really enjoyed doing that and I had a lot of fun like trying to pick out um, what goes where and I used the pathways um, or the terrain sort of paint pathways to outline the flower. But it is, <clears throat> sorry, it is a little off center, um, so that's a little annoying, but eh, I was already like, I was, I was too far in to really want to change it at that point, but I think it looks so cute and I hope that you guys like it. If you did, feel free to give me a like, a comment, or subscribe, especially if you would like to be notified um, when I upload my next video. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys are all having a really great day. Um, I hope you guys are all having a really great start of the fall, um, or I guess start of spring if you live on the other side of the planet. Um, <laughs> oh yes, I am so beautifully awkward. Um, but yeah, the screenshots are coming up soon, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!